Hi, I'm Dr. Hugh Spencer. Um, I'm a neurobiologist by training. Um, I also run a small research station up here in far north Queensland. Year 2000, I was hit with a very severe attack of trigeminal neuralgia, otherwise known as suicide pain. I suffered very, very severely from this on and off for about seven years until we came up with a uh, treatment that I'm sharing with you today, um, which if you have a fairly basic form of, of uh, trigeminal neuralgia, um, could probably have you cured in about a, uh, a week. Um, and you can do it yourself and you don't have to go to hospital. Okay, so what is the trigeminal nervous system um, that's causing us all the trouble and pain? It's the biggest sensory nervous system for the head. Um, and it's, we, have one, uh, we have a trigeminal nerve, nerves on this side and on this side, completely symmetrical. Um, and if you look at the diagram here, you'll see that it has three main branches and these that's why it gets the name trigeminal which means basically three branches one two three so the top branch looks after the the all the sensory information from your scalp even up to about here um, around your eyes in, and your cheeks the second branch basically is your, your upper lips and your jaw your upper teeth um, and then the lower branch is for your lower jaw, your mandible, and under here, and uh, basically all the mucosa inside your mouth below here. All these sensory nerves all come together in what's called the trigeminal nucleus. Uh, and the trigeminal nucleus is where the cell bodies of the sensory nerves are. This is characteristic of all sensory nerves in the human or in the animal body, in the vertebrate body. So that all the sensory Nerve cells are here. We don't think very much nerve processing goes on here, if any. Uh, but then from the cell bodies, it all travels in one main nerve, which is called the fifth um, cranial nerve. And then that goes into the spinal, to a, a, a nucleus in the spinal cord. And this is where all the nerve processing goes on. We can see that here are our three branches. Here is the trigeminal ganglion trigeminal nucleus. You can see it's got, here's, here's a little nerve coming in, there's its cell body, and then the nerve goes down in your um, brain, basically in, in, in your upper part of the spinal cord, and it terminates. And then from there, you get, this is where the processing of your sensory information goes on, and then it gets sent up to the brain, and we actually are all become aware of the sensations. The nerves that we're interested in are a group of nerves which are very, very fine. They're, they're the nerves called the C-fibers or the A-deltas, uh, and they are extremely fine nerves, and they transmit pain, temperature, injury, and some forms of chemical sense, a few other things as well, but they're the main ones. And these, these all come down and they, they, all get ter they all terminate in this area. So, Anytime you feel pain in your mouth, um, it's going to be, be come through one of these fibers. Well, how we think trigeminal neuralgia uh, develops is that um, we have a problem with um, these fibers here being activated by um, an injury such as a tooth abscess or something else. It can, it can be uh, ill-fitting dentures and uh, they are being made to fire and fire and fire and they they basically make this section here more and more sensitive to um, um, any sort of incoming signal until eventually it gets to the point where only a few of these have to fire and this this which you've got to imagine there's thousands of fibers coming in here this is just one line shown here thousands of these fires all suddenly go off bang uh, it's a bit like epilepsy um, and in actual fact, um, the, and like epilepsy, the more it gets activated, the easier it is to activate and the harder it is to stop, uh, which is also why the first treatment of trigeminal neuralgia is to give you an anti-epileptic drug such as Tegretol, um, which basically dampens all this down. One of the things we've been trying to avoid in using this treatment that we're coming up with um, 
is to avoid the surgery because conventionally the treatment for trigeminal neuralgia when all else fails is to actually damage or almost completely destroy this nucleus by a whole variety of ways. It all involves major surgery inside the skull. It's very expensive and if you, are actu if you actually damage the trigeminal nucleus uh, itself where all these cell bodies are, you can actually end up by having no feeling at all on that side. In fact, you, you, lose, you can lose almost all your sensory input. Um, it can have other worse, worse effects. The treatment that we developed um, is a, uh, to use um, a fairly commonly, now commonly available compound called capsaicum. And capsaicum is the um, active ingredient in chili peppers. Um, and that's what makes them hot. Um, and um, it has a most unusual property is that capsaicum also kills those C fibers we were talking about, um, which are the pain f and fibers that are in fact driving the trigeminal neuralgia. So what we do is you basically get rid of this input um, and you're not affecting the other sensory effects. The rest of my face feels absolutely normal, but those pain fibers have disappeared. They, uh, we've managed to get rid of them. But it's not a total panacea because if you have very, very badly damaged um, uh, mouth, for instance, um, the dentist has taken out too many teeth and or you, you, you can get to the point where you can't actually fix it. It's no, it is no longer fixable. So to do this, you'll probably need the help of your dentist um, because your, there's, your dentist actually has to make what is known as impression of your mouth and the dentist will come up with something that looks like this which is a um, dental impression it's not my one somebody else's that's all right uh, and um, then with the dental impression we then use that to make a mouth guard um, you can buy mouth guard material for sports guards you can get them at the at the um, at the drugstore at the pharmacy um, or at sports stores and um, they give you instructions on basically how to heat them and force them down. And you push them so they go right down, right close to the gum line. So you want to, be, you want to be, get, have cover all this completely. The mouth guard's job is to allow us to apply the capsaicum onto the um, inner lining of the mouth on the gums. I might call the mucosa. We then glue onto the... Um, uh, we, we cut pads, right? This is a synthetic cloth. Um, and you glue them, you can see how we've done it here. You glue them on the outside and on the inside of the affected area. What we get from the, the um, manufacturer um, or the supplier is 40% capsaicum. Uh, so we need to, to dilute this one part in four. Um, so we put in one drop of capsaicum and then we mix it with four drops of rubbing alcohol. It doesn't have to be completely accurate so long as it's something up, up something like 10% it'll be fine. So you take four drops out of here and drop it in there and then swirl that around, mix it and that is going to be the material you're going to put on the pad. The next part of this is a good idea, you do it over a sink in the bathroom or as I'm going to do it now in the lovely sunny garden here at Cape Tribulation, uh, do it out in the garden because you're going to spit and drool a lot. The capsaicum really makes you salivate. We have to make sure that by the time you're finished you have your nice glass of milk to rinse your mouth out with because it takes away the pain of the capsaicum and then this is going to hurt so you should do it for about half an hour every day for about four as, as the pain disappears on application you know that you're winning it is that the, the, the nerves are, are starting to, to go and then what you do is put it in some water and you have to make sure you rinse it up and clean it really thoroughly before you use it tomorrow for your next next use after four applications, my neuralgia disappeared permanently. I've had no, no side effects from it. My, this, both sides of the mouth feel almost identical. 
and I'm now completely symptom free. I've been so for five years now. So I won and I hope you'll win too.